Harvesting tea leaves in Kenya's tea belt in the Rift Valley has traditionally been done by hand. This labor-intensive practice is said to ensure the region produces the high-quality tea that is among the country's top foreign exchange earners. But now, machines are replacing human labor in the tea plantations. Zipporah Onserio lost her job plucking tea leaves because of the harvesting machines. They brought machines. Most of the fields we used to work in have been turned over to machines or tractors. Now, people who pluck tea by hand, we are jobless. Onserio was one of hundreds of employees at a tea plantation in Kericho, some 270 kilometers west of Nairobi. The union representing workers like her say job losses are likely to increase. Before the introduction of machines, Bomet alone, we used to have over 50,000 employees, over 50,000. But as we are talking now, I can tell you the number is around 5,000 to 7,000. Multinational companies in the tea belts have argued in court that the harvesting machines will help cut production costs by more than half, making their product more competitive in the world market. But trade unionists say mechanization has a high human cost, with some 10,000 people already laid off even before the recent court verdict ruling in favor of the tea companies. For a region that depends on the income from tea workers, community leaders say the impact of even greater job losses will be dire. Insecurity will become a major problem. The unemployed youth will take out their frustrations on the wealthy, and the wealthy will bear the burden of the entire community. Despite the possible job losses, the Kenya Tea Growers Association says embracing mechanization is the only way to keep the sector alive. One machine, uh, its cost of production is about 40% less than if you are to use a hand machine in a, in a nickel of land. So you look at it and you see uh, you're able to balance your cost of production, you're able to, uh, to remain uh, in, in the business, you're able to assure business continuity for the remaining workers who you have on your employment. The association adds that machines will never replace the need for human labor in the tea estates. Brenda Molina for VOA News, Kericho, Kenya.